Hey guys, it's Jeremy and Ken from HowToHockey.com. In this video, Ken's going to teach you three ways that you can use the boards as a defenseman to improve your play. Let's get right to it. <laughs> okay guys, the first situation we're going to work on is battling with the puck along the boards. Now in this one, you've got the puck in the corner. You're not skating, you're not moving, there's already somebody on you, you're not going to be able to boost out of there and get rid of it, and you have another forward coming at you from the other side. So what you want to do is you want to protect this puck on the boards. Keeping it out here is not protecting it. Someone's going to come this way, lift your stick, and it's gone. This puck comes to the boards. What you want to do is you want to get one foot out front to stop this player from coming in front of you and you want to push forward. As you're pushing, you're keeping the puck along the boards. When the other player is coming this way now, you're going to want to suck this puck in. If it's way out here and he comes, he's just going to take it away from you. you. Suck the puck back in, you're putting it between your skates. If you need to, freeze it. Okay, we're going to go over a few quick points from that last segment just so you remember these are things you have to do every time. When the puck's on the boards, you are on that stick. You can't stand up like this or you're going to knock your stick around, it's nothing. You're down on that stick with all your weight. They're not going to move it when it's on the boards and your stick's on it. That's two pivot points. Again, you're going to keep your feet moving. Your legs are the most powerful part of your body. If your feet are moving and you're just holding it, forward's coming in and he's moving, you're just going to get pushed off the puck. So as you're moving, your feet are moving, you're moving back, you're moving right, you're moving left. And when you're protecting the puck in your skates, you're staying low. If you're up like this and kicking the puck around, it's not going to do anything. If you're down low and you're kicking the puck around, no one's going to get you. You're going to just keep moving with the puck, stay low, keep those feet moving, and you'll be fine. All right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, guys, we're going to work on passing next. So you're down in your end. What you want to do right here, the best situation is to give it right to this winger on his stick. You're going to pass it right up to him on his stick. He's going to go. What you don't want to do is go on the rim. If you get it to him on the boards, he's going to have to fight for it, and it's going to case another two or three seconds. Could be the uh, difference for a pinch. If your other defenseman on the other goal line, what you want to do is you want to get the puck to his uh, stick. You don't want to get it to his skates because that's going to give him another two or three seconds he has to take that puck. So what you want to do is you want to bank it off the boards. Now you're thinking about angles here. If I bank too early, it's going to go out front. You don't want that. You want to bank it so it's going right to the other side of the net and it's coming out from the board. So you want to bank it. He's going to pick it up there. He's going to either pass it or break it up the middle. Now, in the last case scenario, you're not going to be able to get it to that defenseman, so you're going to have to rim this puck. So the reason you want to rim it is very simple. If I'm right here, I don't want to go like this. If I do that, I'm benched for the rest of the game. That's not going to be fun for me. The key for rimming it is to keep that safe play. You're going to take it behind the net, and you want to get it to that other forward. If you're down here, and you can make that direct pass, make the direct pass to this winger. Get it on a stick. Don't do it on the boards. The reason you're rimming it to go around this side is you never want to put the puck up the middle from this corner. That is a recipe for disaster. And when you're doing it this way, you're either doing it nice and low to get it to that winger, or you're going to get that bang shot in to get it to your other defensive partner. All right, guys, just another bang pass. You're a little higher in your end now. You see a center breaking across. You can't give it to him. you got two people coming in on you coverage. You want to try and get that to him with the bank off the boards. Same as behind the net. It's all about your angles. He's cutting in this way. You're going to want to do a close bank. And I'll bring it right out. As he's cutting, he's going to take that puck and break right through. Okay, guys. Now the last play to use the boards is clearing the puck out of your end. This is what you use in that last case scenario. Your forwards can't break it out. You're tired. You can't move. You can't even freeze the puck. So you need to get it out, and you need to get it out hard. The key for breaking it out on your own end is you never want to get it off the boards. This needs to be off the glass and it needs to be hard. You can do forehand or backhand, preferably forehand to get that power. So you're going to have it in the corner. You don't want to pass out the middle. You're just turning to the boards, off the glass. Hopefully your winger will get that in the middle, but it doesn't matter. If it's an icy and you can change, you can have a break. On your backhand, you want to be closer to the boards. You can't do a hard backhand, so what you want to do is you want to fake that middle shot. So they're going to think you're going for the pass, you bring it back in off the boards and out. And that's the easiest way to get it off the boards. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out our next video. It's tips for the forwards to use the boards to improve the game. Hope you like those tips. If you like them, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to our blog. It's howtohockey.com. We've got all kinds of articles and videos on improving the game. See you in the next video.